Hey everyone, happy Monday and welcome back to Kubota Farm. We're back here in East Vineland, New Jersey. And we're in October. I'm not sure that we left off in October, did we? Uh, Sunday? Either way. If we didn't, I moved ahead. If we did, well, we're still in October. Early in the morning. Beautiful morning here in East Vineland. And work has started already as you can see corn is ready to harvest so we are hitting that head on we've got the case IH out here with the honeybee not the honeybee sorry ah not the honeybee in fact got the old Drago I went back to the tried and true uh, Drago really enjoyed this header uh, when we used it the first time and uh, I brought it back again for a second appearance here on Kubota Farm. I think it's its second appearance. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Whoa. That's a view. So we are cranking through, or going to try and crank through uh, this corn. I think we've got a pretty good yield on our fields that we're going to get. I'm using course play. Trying out a couple of things. Um... Well, one thing in particular trying out is self-unloading. I'm very curious to see if course play will unload itself. Where are you going, buddy? Not entirely sure what it's doing. Fascinating. Were you supposed to do that? really think you were supposed to do that oh maybe because I have turning try and turn I guess I have turning inside the field only turned on maybe that's why it's doing this very interesting huh okay I also have self unloading turned on so we're gonna see if course play will be nice enough to unload itself I uh, went ahead and had course play also um, as you can see, take care of our mow job here. We can go around and clean that up a little bit, which we will do. Uh, here's the trailer waiting for course play. Uh, it says on or near the field, so I'm assuming that's near the field. I don't know if that's a great spot for it. I don't know if course play will figure that out or the trees will cause a problem or what. I guess we'll find out. Our, uh, boy, our chickens have really been busy. Well, I've got fast walk on, don't I? Our chickens have been busy. These chickens have been busy, but our other chickens have been really busy. Where are they, where are they producing? Over here. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of eggs. Oh, oh man, we're going to have a lot of eggs. I did end up selling some more raisins uh, here in October. For some reason, I thought last month was raisin month. But it seemed to me like it seems like I've seen this happen a couple times where I look and the highest month is the month we're in. And then I, the next month, the highest month is the month we're in, I think. But did sell three boxes of raisins. That earned us some money. Sent some pigs off to the petting zoo, 20 of them. So that earned us a little money. Our orchard, our vineyard, orchard, well, it can't be a vineyard. Our o orchard, our grove, is ready. Look at those olives. Oh, we are ready to harvest olives. I don't know if we're going to get to olive harvesting this episode, though. I think that's going to be kind of a dedicated one. So that's ready to go. Um, so, yeah, we've got a few things going on here in October. Um, all good. All very good. Our silage fermenter is um, done and uh, just ready. Uh, we don't have to empty it, though, because it can just sit there until we're ready to sell. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. And let's get... Uh, let's finish up our little mow that we always do at the end here, if I can figure out how to unfold everything. There we go. And we can fire up front. And we can fire up the back. 
I thought I heard somewhere, and I haven't been able to figure it out, but I thought I heard somewhere that there was a key combination that allowed you to either raise it, is it raise and lower, or I thought there was a, somebody mentioned the key combination to raise and lower multiple implements like this at once. Um, is it control, it's not control Y, because I think control Y, let's see here, if I put it on the tractor, that's going to change the swathing. I don't want to do that. Because I want, oh, we don't want wide, we want swath dropping. Is it alt Y? Space Y? Shift Y? Hmm. Thought I heard, though, that, that there was a key combination for kind of an all-in-one raise and lower. If you know that, let me know what uh, what that is, because I'm kind of curious. It's not control V. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Oh, it is control V. <gasps> yes, okay, I like that. So control V to raise and lower is control B and control B to turn both off. I, there you go. Never knew that. Never stinking knew that. How long have I played this game on a PC? And I never knew that. Oh, don't go backwards. I like that. I think that's going to come in handy. I'm going to have to remap that, though, I think, to something a little more convenient, maybe on my wheel or something. But I really do like... I really do like that, though. I'm so used to switching implements and individually raising and lowering them or individually turning them on and off. Now I just have to remember to use that key combination. I like that a lot. So control V and control B for multi-tool. Dang. I love learning something new like that. That is pretty sweet. All right, let's get you hooked up like we normally do. Control B to turn off, control V to raise both. It did indeed. Now, can I do Control X to fold both? Oh, oh, oh man. Ooh. I'm like a chimp that's found a new toy. Or a chimp that... <laughs> that maybe found a new uh, weapon. Or a new way of cooking. Or something, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm like an excited chimp. Either way. <laughs> oh, goodness. You know what? I never mow these little tufts. I feel like... At some point, I should mow those little tufts, but it just seems like more effort than than it's worth. Ooh, what did I... Ooh, I was going to say, what did I hit? But I hit the stinking fence. Sheep are giving me the eye already. Sorry, sheep. It didn't break the fence down. No escape today, my brothers. My sisters. <laughs> no escaping today. All right, let's get you parked up. I think there was a couple other things I did. I feel like there's something else I had going on here after I left you. Um, I'm going to repair all of that. And we're going to give it a quick wash. Why not? Oh, I sold, um, I sold our Kubota cultivator that's been sitting there not doing anything forever. I don't honestly know if we even need a cultivator at this point. I don't want to get rid of it all together yet, our other cultivator. But with that direct drill seeding, it's kind of made cultivating a little bit old news. Um, but we'll hang on to the one that we have still. It's a little bit bigger than the Kubota one that we had originally. But I got rid of that. I did not yet trade in anything for another bigger tractor. I got to thinking about it, and last time I mentioned we could get rid of our M5, but 
that would be silly because our M5 is actually our orchard slash grove slash olive taking care of tractor. So I don't want to get rid of our olive taking care of tractor. How's our... Oh, oh, did you just dump? You did, you little stinker. Holy cow, you worked. Why does that surprise me when... Why does that surprise me when things like that work? I really like that, though. Look at him cruising, too. He's, like, taking the long way around. But, hey, you know what? At least he's not going three miles an hour to do it. But where are you going, buddy? You're just going back to where you left off, right? Don't get, tur don't, uh, don't get too crazy. Yep, now you're going to slow down. Okay. You're sensing. You're sensing there's corn ahead. Little radar is starting to go off saying, hey, corn ahead. Let's fire that beast up. Had a little problem when I first started it, though, on course play. And I think because I had the combine unfolded. You know how course play likes to unfold its own equipment. You know, if you unfold it first, a lot of times course play will say, no, I'm going to unfold it the way I like to unfold it. So it'll fold your unfolded up and, <laughs> and unfold it again. Well, I think I had the combine unfolded. I had the header unfolded. And I said, here you go, course play. First waypoint, go. Well, it didn't unfold the combine. So it was like combining with it all folded up. It looked really weird because the grain was going through the top of this bin cover so it took me a couple tries to stop course play restart course play fold on fold blah 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 to get it to look right i don't know if that's even an important thing to, to mention but thought i would the other thing i wanted to mention was sunday's episode at the end of it when i went to sell i'm just taking a quick peek here through our game log when I went to sell our raisins, I hopped in the TLX, the Kubota pickup, and our trailer, and I drove over to um, to pick up the raisins, and when I was driving along, it was doing that really, I've mentioned it before a couple times here when I'm hopping fields. Once in a while, I get to a point where it's the video gets pretty glitchy. Just for just a couple seconds, two, three seconds, it's like really stuttery. And I thought, okay, let me take a quick... So I popped up the game log real quick. And there was an error message. Actually, it was a warning. Saying something about critical memory over something. Purging. Game, game is going to purge. Um, and I thought, man, that's kind of weird. First of all, you know... The purge came to mind, which freaked me out. But I realized the game has no weapons to purge me with, so I started doing a little Google foo. And turns out there's not a lot of information on that warning message, except in the Giants forum in German, somebody mentioned this exact error. I shouldn't say it shouldn't say error because it's a warning. But um, it was supposedly in regards to having a mod installed that is wrongfully taking up too much memory. Now, I don't know if it's system memory or how the game works with memory. If the game, I don't know if, if Farm Sim like dedicates a certain amount of memory when it launches. And that's what it's allowing itself to use. I don't know if it's if it's GPU memory or if it's system memory or what, but all the responses were all the same. You know that it's a mod. You need to check your mods. And if it's if it happens during gameplay, it can cause bad stutter. And that's what tipped me off to it when I first saw it because it's not the occasional little stutter you get sometimes when you're playing farm sim on a pc i a lot of people talk about that 
this was more of that driving by some trees and really seeing stutter you know really bad for about three three to five seconds so I haven't really done any more investigating beyond that I don't know if it is a mod or not it doesn't happen very often um, is it often or often hmm. it doesn't happen very often often but um, and it doesn't crash the game I guess either so Hard to say what mod it could be, hard to say what's causing it. I just thought that was kind of curious. I don't know if any of you have ever seen anything like that. You wouldn't see it on a console, but if any of you PC or Mac players, and you probably wouldn't see it on a Mac. And I'm curious, I would love to know the percentage of Mac players for Farm Sim. I can't imagine that there's... It's got to be the lowest of all the... Well... Maybe not. Well, uh, it's it, it can't even be close to PC, I wouldn't think. Um, but yeah, I'd be curious to see the breakdown. I wonder if there's a place you could find that for the percentage of Farming Simulator breakdown on PC, Mac, and then all the consoles, even the... What's that? Is it Stadia or what's that little... What are those handheld consoles people play it on once in a while too and stuff? be curious to see what percentages what percentage breakdown it is and all that stuff but I see Mac players in the forums and I see people asking some questions about Macs but I love my Mac I've always loved Mac well I haven't always loved Mac actually I used to be a big Windows flag waver but um, I was forced to learn Mac at a job I had um, and support actually to support Macs so I ended up getting a Mac at work, and um, it was one of those, what are they called, the Mac. I suppose I could do something instead of just yapping. What do I want to do, though? Sorry, guys, I just keep grinding through, I know. Uh, I kind of would like... Yeah, we'll grab this M8. So I was kind of forced to learn it. Ended up loving it. Ended up realizing how, in many ways, it's so much superior to Windows, um, especially from a support perspective. Um, wow, you want to talk about heaven on earth, but, you know, no Windows registry, no Windows DLLs. Um, there's so many things it, <laughs> that it's so much better. Uh, the one thing it's not so much better with, though, do I need to open... Let's go buy some additive. Uh, the one thing it's not better with, though, is gaming. And that held very true, you know, for the Intel Macs, because they all had that really crappy, dedicated Intel graphics, which are horrific. And then um, the Mac Pros, you could get some pretty high-end, you know, dual graphics and stuff for AMD graphics and I'm sure that those were better at gaming but still not really intended for gaming. They were more uh, graphic artists kind of setups and stuff but still probably better at least better than a, an Intel box that's for sure an Intel only box the new Macs though I don't know with, uh, with the M1s or the M2s now I guess or whatever they're they're bringing on. I don't know what gaming is, would really be like with those. I'd be curious to see. I can't imagine they're. I can't imagine that they can touch consoles, and they can't. And I can't imagine they can touch a good gaming PC yet. But I suppose if you play with, you know, graphic settings properly set up, you could probably get a decent experience on a Mac. The operating system is at least the last Mac I ran, the operating systems on Macs are much lighter weight than Windows, that's for sure. They're certainly not nearly the same amount of resource hungry and everything else, so like, or, like them or hate them, Mac 
OS definitely has its share of advantages over Windows. But the new Macs, you can't do the dual boot thing anymore. Once they got rid of Intel, you know, there went Windows on Mac. Unless you want to run a... What are we going to do with... Um... We're going to go feed the sheep. That's what we're going to do. Unless you want to run Parallels or VMware and run a virtual Windows machine, which you certainly can do, but virtual machines never really... At least not Windows virtual machines. Um, I'm going to try and just do it this way. It's going to scrunch our trailer, but so be it. Um, virtual machines never... Because they're using virtual hardware and things, they just... You're never going to get the same experience on a virtual machine as you would if you were using, you know, PC hardware with Windows. But old school Intel Macs running Windows ran ran like a demon. And and I don't know if, you, if any of you remember uh, when it came out that uh, they were doing some benchmarking and... Windows uh, with with the same hardware on a Mac, Intel hardware on a Mac was outperforming Windows on a standard PC with like hardware, and that was kind of a kind of a funny big deal that was going around for a while. Um, I don't know how much. Honestly, I don't know if I really ever saw real evidence of that. It seems like I did see some legit benchmarks, but again, architecture is different. Macs are different. They don't have the, you know, they don't have the BIOS, the UFI stuff going on, and all that stuff. And like I said, Windows has so much nonsense built into it. Um, I remember uh, that Linus dude that created Linux, right? Um, and yes, I call him Linus, not Linus, but that's just me. He once said something that I really, really liked was he wants his operating system to be there in the background and out of the way. You know, just... Be there, but don't be in the front. You know, be there so I can run applications I want and games I want and do other things I want, but don't be in my face. And Microsoft's Windows has always wanted to be more than just an operating system, in my opinion. It's always wanted to be, you know, we want to give you a browser, we want to give you a movie editor, we want to do this, we want to do that. And it's just like, man none of it's any good let me just get my own stuff that's good and you just run the PC in the background you know and stay out of my way but I don't see that happening really anytime any, anytime soon let's see if where are we at with our little sheepsies are you hungry are you still hungry sheep I'll fill you up we'll go give you a little more we'll give you a little more grass yeah I know We'll give you a little more grass, and then uh, the rest is going to go in the in the in the silo for fermenting. Watch our trailer do the squat. Let's get over to our silo, and let's go check on. We'll check on our case and see how it's doing. I wonder if our trailer is full yet. I don't know what Courseplay does if the trailer is full. I'm going to assume it's going to sit there and wait. I could set up an auto drive course. How you doing, buddy? Oh, you're not full. And you're still working away. Alright. Well, I like it. I thought you'd be a little further along than this. Hmm. 
Square corners add quite a bit of time. How much time does it say it has left? About 20 minutes, 19 minutes? I wonder if it takes an account uh, that it's unloading itself. And I guess it it's pro it's not going to cut through crops, which I, I wish it would. It looks like, in fact, I don't think it'll cut crops. I think it'll drive around crops. When it unloads, I wish there was a way just to say, you know what, I don't care. You know, just drive drive through what you have to to get her done. Just following what it's doing here. It looks like it's going to take this path. So that was its third headland. Then it's going to follow that all the way up there and not cut anything or not chop anything. Or is it going to get a, a little bit? How weird. I don't know what you're going to do. Are you just going to cut just a little bit off the right there, maybe? What's your plan, Stan? Why would you do that? It must have to do that to... Nope, it's not... Is it going to cut a little? No, nope, it's not. Why are you doing this? It must have been the way... It must have been the fact that I set up three headlands and the, and the field has a curve to it or something. I don't know. I don't get what it's doing. Where, where are you? Yeah, it's kind of... So you're going to cruise up and cut nothing all the way up. Along this line. And then he's going to probably cut in here and come back this way. Those arrows are pointing back. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. But why would you do that, course play? Why would you not just be cutting this the row next to you all the way down here? Oh, well. Whatever. Hey, as long as you're unloading yourself and taking care of business, I guess that's all that... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. So you're going to... You are going to cut back through here. <laughs> it's always... Wow. Man. Uh, I don't know what you're doing. Oh, then you're going to do a... You, you're kidding me. Yeah, it's got to be because these fields are kind of... Kitty Wampus. Or Caddy Wampus. I don't know which one you all use. I've lived... In different places my life um, we moved not a lot but we did move a few times growing up and depending on where I've lived it's either kitty wampus or caddy wampus I've heard both but regardless this field is a little wampus and I have a feeling that that must also impact how course play sets up its course because um, it just doesn't map out the most efficient, in my opinion. But I guess you get what you pay for, right? Alright. Giddy up on that. Sheep are fed. At least we know they have a lot of grass. We've got, I think, 70 or 80,000 liters of grass sitting in. Oh, we need to weed also. Don't let me forget that. We do need to do some weeding on this field and a little bit of weeding on our other wheat field as well. I don't want to forget that because our uh, that'll we'll get spanked on our yields if we don't do it. Kind of just want to get this out of the way and done so it has a chance to start fermenting as quickly as possible. This is just money in the bank, so... So why not, you know? I've been looking at some other maps. Um, I was playing around a little bit on the uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley, UMRV. That's made a big splash in the community, at least for PC. And I guess Mac players, I would think, as well. Unfortunately, not console players, but maybe next, you know... 
I know console players. I'm I'm hoping that you all will eventually get um, bigger maps available to you. I'm not like super into the big 4x and 8x and 16x maps. I I think for multiplayer they make a lot of sense. I have played 4x maps on my own. Um, it's a lot of ground to cover, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, but I'm not, you know, I'm not like super into them like some people. Um, I would say Upper Mississippi River Valley looks really nice, and I really like a lot of the extras that's in it and everything. Um, that being said, there is another map that I came across um, that I've been kind of considering. It's got a lot of potential as well for maybe doing it on this channel is um, Stevie. If you're familiar with Stevie's mods, I used to play a lot of Stevie's mods uh, maps back in 17 and 15. Um, he would always make really nice variations on the base game maps. He would add a lot of things to them and just kind of put his own spin on them and I usually really liked what he did. But he's got a map that he recently updated called, I think it's called Hillview? Hillside or Hillview? I forget which one. But I was checking that out the other day and... I liked what I was seeing. It it had a it, it's not a huge map. In fact, I don't even know if it's. It almost looked like it was smaller than a standard. But it had nice big fields and it had um, extra productions and stuff to it that I thought were kind of cool, like some oil productions, like gasoline, diesel stuff. Um, so I'm going to check that out a little bit more, too. That might be an interesting map to take a look at. What I liked about it, too, was it had a really nice farm set up with uh, multiple cow barns. And I really kind of am thinking along the lines of getting into beef or dairy cattle on the next map in a big way. Um, was kind of one of my possible goals for that I still want to do a big potato farm as well so we'll just see how that all pans out but uh, yeah if you got any ideas for maps and stuff yeah let me know it's it's always you know it's always interesting to try and figure what you want to what you want to do next and then it's also kind of interesting to you know, how far or how long do you want to play the map that you're on? You know, because I'm always thinking, you know, how much longer do we do we want to do we want to stay here in East Vineland? You know, I'm not always I don't have to buy own every field um, and all that stuff. I just kind of play until I feel like, you know, you've got a good handle on it decent amount of money in the bank you've kind of done a few different things on the map that you want to do and it's time to just look at something new I just hate to say goodbye to the sheep the sheep and I have bonded they are they are dear friends at this point <laughs> they are oh man they've made me some money that's for sure holy cow they're definitely nice to have around for the cash that's for sure the pigs well that's a different story but the sheep yeah all right let's kill you for a second let's take one more peek ski at what's going on here 73 percent oh you're about to empty you should be emptying you are going to empty well this will be a good thing to watch caught this just in time let's see how our combine does it here and I think we'll call it quits after this, but uh, let's just see how. Yeah, okay. It's getting it done. Doing what it has to do. I 
I guess I, I, I'm assuming, you know what, I wonder if it's too full. I don't know if it'll go to 100% or if it'll fill it. Let's see what she does here, because this is definitely going to fill up that trailer. And I'm going to assume it'll sit and wait for us to empty the trailer and come back. Hop in. 90, 100% full. All good, thank you. Thank you for not waiting. Appreciate that. I was, I was actually thinking it was gonna sit and wait, but it's smart enough to know that it can go harvest some more while we empty. And if I had auto drive set up, we could have set up a course to. Uh, is this, a, is this the 7? Yeah, I can kind of tell the 7 doesn't quite have that punch to get these trailers going a little bit quicker, but it seems to manage. Well, all right, everyone. I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to keep working here in East Vineland. I'm going to finish up our grass field and um, just keep working until I feel like calling it. Uh, but hopefully uh, we'll see you back here Tuesday for another exciting installment in the uh, Kubota Farm series. But thanks everyone for uh, for checking it out. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be great. Have a great rest of your Monday. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you back here Tuesday, hopefully. Bye for now.